how do you think about like the community building element with a bunch of these? And like, is that something that you're, you're even focused on? Like you mentioned the one uh, job board example where they have this massive Slack group. How do you think about the community building portion one? And then two, do you have specific platforms that you're a big fan of for building communities? It's something that I kind of, uh, I go back and forth with now. It's like, should this, should this be in discord? Should this be in Slack? Is this a Facebook group? Like where's the best place to put this? Yeah. I think it's my biggest missed opportunity for all of these projects. Mm -hmm. You know, over the last five years with Facebook ads, you could run really inexpensive Facebook ads to a great landing page. And then you could build a, a seven figure business on the back of that strategy alone. Now with Facebook ads being a lot more expensive and iOS 14, making it nearly impossible to generate a two, three, four, five, six X return on ad spend. Everyone's kind of moving more towards this community building plan or strategy or tactic to, to grow their business. Mm -hmm. And I, it's something that I should be doing. Like B2B heaven should have a Facebook group with B2B marketers in it. Or, uh, you know, influencer job board, I, I really should be driving everyone to a Facebook group or a Discord server or a Slack community just with every influencer on the planet to build up influencerjobboard.com. And I might do that. I, I might have my, my assistant help with that. Um, but my, my plan is a little bit different than most, or my strategy is a little bit different. I'm trying to build community through Marketing Max through my followers on Twitter, through my followers on TikTok, through my followers on Instagram, uh, and through my newsletter. And I think by building up the community around Marketing Max, I'm creating a moat around all of my businesses. And I'm giving myself a community that I can test new projects in quickly without having to spend too much money. So I don't think I need to. I would certainly have a lot more of my projects go farther faster and make more money faster if I built a community for each. But my plan is to build up the Marketing Max community and the Marketing Max audience because all of my projects that I ever build will always be in the marketing slash entrepreneur early startup founder space and phase of people's career and of people's journey. And so if I can build the Marketing Max brand, then I can sell them a bunch of other stuff. If you're familiar with Russell Brunson, right? Yeah. He built his Russell Brunson brand through a bunch of books. And then he sells you click funnels and then he sells you other tools that he's working on. And then he sells you, you know, masterminds and everything else, but everyone knows Russell Brunson, right? Top, right? That's the top. And then he can sell you a bunch of other stuff. If I did it for influencer job board, and then I launched, uh, you know, an, an influencer date, like another niche influencer database, you know, I could say, Hey, our sister company just launched or, Hey, we're also launching this side thing. It's not going to have the same effect. Gotcha. So um, that's, that's my plan. That's my strategy. In terms of the community to build the group on, I think it really depends on the community. Like what do they use the most? Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of Facebook at, or of Facebook groups because I'm in three Facebook groups that I pay annually to be a part of. And a lot of those groups tend to have slightly old, a slightly older demographic, like late 30s, 40s, and 50s. And so most of those people spend a lot of time on Facebook. You know, I, I'm, I'm also in a handful of Discord servers for, you know, NFT projects and DAO projects. Uh, I'm taking a course. I'm taking Daniel Vassallo's uh, Small Bets course in a couple of weeks. And I know they're run on Discord. So I might have to spend a little bit more time on Discord. Like, I think just asking the audience where they spend the most amount of time and then just building it there. That way it becomes more of a habit and it kind of sneaks into their existing habits then asking someone to go check this other app that they don't use that often is, is the right way to go about it. But building a community is hard. Building a Slack group, building a Facebook group, a Discord server, anything. Like you really need to be in there every day, asking questions, stirring the pot, posting things that are relevant to the audience. You need to ask a couple other people to share that burden with you and to help you do that. Um, you know, because it, on one hand, it's, it's never been easier to launch a business or to launch a product or to become an influencer because the reach on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and everything is so amazing. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, it's never been harder because there's now so many more people competing for everyone's eyeballs and everyone's attention. So you have to have a really good community to, to really grow or to even have a chance at becoming anything 
habit building or habit forming where people are in it daily or even weekly. 